Hey everyone, it's Tony Moore here at Universal City Walk for Day of Days 2018, and I have the pleasure of sitting with Miss Deidre Hall. How are you today? I am having a great day, thank you. Good. Um, now, the whole talk has been about Hattie and how you have come back to, to play her, but what I would like to know is your sister, your twin sister, uh, played her as well. Did she have any notes for you or any thoughts on how you portrayed Hattie? No, uh, Andrea Hall Gangler, my twin sister, uh, originated Hattie many, many years ago and was hilarious at it. Um, and then Hattie went away for a while and then they wrote her back in and my sister wasn't available and they said, well, just let's just play her yeah. looking a lot like Marlena and she's kind of rounded off the rough edges a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, um, you know, playing Marlena for so long means playing Hattie is a real joy. <laughs> So it's been great. And we definitely enjoy seeing you as Hattie, and especially the scenes with, with you and Judy Evans as Bonnie. Right. Those, are, those are some very classic yeah. scenes. Like, I feel like it's a girl's night that I would like to be a part of. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Judy's a dream to play with, and it's just, we used to rehearse those scenes barely <laughs> and, and just say, whatever happens. And, and we're both performers that like to just go for it. Right. So it was... Uh, yeah, water gets spilled, hair gets pulled, ah, what the hell, it's a fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I remember when I started watching Days, uh, one of the first scenes that I was introduced to Marlena was when she was locked in a cage uh, by Stefano in Paris, I believe. Um, was there a moment for you that, that you realized, like, you, your love for the character of Marlena? There was a moment where I thought, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, th uh, and we do far-fetched things in daytime, but that was just so implausible and ridiculous. Um, um, so I was mighty glad to see that storyline come and go. I just was not a fan. <laughs> and several people said, is there a bathroom in there somewhere? <laughs> oh, that, I think that's always a question. Can, when Can you see a bathroom in here somewhere? <laughs> I mean, it was absurd storyline, so it was... But it, it, I rem just remember Marlena being locked away so often. There was the cage, there was the secret room, and I remember thinking very young, like, oh my gosh, this poor woman, why do they keep hiding her away from everyone and, and locking her in, in places? But, of course, I, I loved it, and I always loved uh, your interaction with Eileen Davidson uh, as, as Kristen. You two had just such a great chemistry uh, with each other, so I... Thank you for, for all of those those moments. That's been great. Now, the, the recent storyline with um, with Hattie playing Marlena, and we saw we got to see Drake kind of and and you turn the tables where we often see Marlena going to to John and and caring for him in a, cer a certain situation. But we saw the vulnerability of Drake this time caring for Marlena. How were those scenes uh, now that the tables had turned? Well, the, the great joy of that time period was playing Hattie. Mm -hmm. And she was, uh, as you know from watching the, the uh, show, she was, she was helping them out. Yes. She was pretending to be Marlena. It took everything she had. <laughs> um, and, and she wanted them beholden to her. Yeah. And that, uh, one of my favorite scenes is the fight scene with, with, with Drake. Hattie fighting John. Oh <laughs> my gosh! And we're—I so, thought as the audience, we're so unaccustomed to seeing Marlena mm -hmm. ever be abrupt with him or rude to him or insistent or just—and I thought, oh, this is great. Mm -hmm. This is great because it's brand new territory, and Hattie has every mean bone in her body. Mm -hmm. I mean, she can call upon any of those moments that she wants to pull something up. And uh, and she just hates John. Yeah. And she yeah. only wants Roman. And what Marlena sees in him, <laughs> is, you know. So uh, it was great fun, great right. fun. And I think it, it was fun for Drake too because we were both getting to play a different side of ourselves. Exactly. Do you have a favorite line from from Hattie um, during during that storyline? Mine was uh, when uh, Belle Martha Madison comes in with the bouquet of flowers, and Hattie says, "Oh, are those the I almost killed my mom bouquet?" <laughs> Almost got my mom bouquet. Yes, yeah, that was. You know, uh, our writers are so good with that dialogue. Mm -hmm. they, they just um, favorite lines. Um, I I don't even know. There were probably there's a lot so of them. Many. Yeah, yeah, so many. So many. She, Hattie gets all the good lines. So many one zingers that she has, and you, you, she's so lovable, and you just fall in love with Hattie. Do you? Okay, good. I do. Yeah. I, I, and especially the. <laughs> 
Dancing Hattie was, was oh, my favorite. I, now, you know I've <laughs> talked to how many, 200 people this morning. <laughs> A third of them have said, oh, Hattie's dance. And, and, and just so much fun. And in yeah. fact, for that scene, they had brought in um, a choreographer. Mm-hmm. And I said, I don't understand why you want a choreographer. <laughs> Hattie can't dance. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to teach you some how not to dance moves. I said, oh, <laughs> trust me, save your money. <laughs> um, so it was just it was great fun to kind mm-hmm. of just whatever, you know, occurred. And there was a choreographer uh, standing off stage who just mm-hmm. went, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing here. Um, but, you know, Hattie does stuff that we all want to do. Exactly. She's, she's uninhibited. She's unafraid. She's unapologetic. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and she's rude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's my favorite part about her. <laughs> it's my favorite part about her, too. Yeah. She's, a, she's a very blunt woman, and she knows what she wants. And she wants it exactly like she wants it. So that's, that's a woman that I could have a drink with. <laughs> she wants something from Burger Barn. Exactly. Shut up! <laughs> With onions, by the way. Now, I, I know you're not a, too big on games, but we're going to play. We're going to attempt this one. She's going she's gonna to do this with me. Yeah, we do. I, I feel like you're going to do great. Like, you're such a legend in daytime. I think you can tell the difference between these two. Um, so, we're going to play a game called Headline or Daytime. I'm going to read something and you have to determine whether it's an actual headline or if it's something that happened in daytime all right so the first one bad child escapes two feet tall and very dangerous that's the headline it's not daytime it's too silly yeah. <laughs> um so headline headline yep that's it it's actually a headline from weekly world news um this one I don't get that. Um, I don't read that. Okay. I don't need. I glance at those while I'm in the grocery store line and think, well, how odd is that? And thank God I don't live in that town, wherever that's happening. Um, you know, of course, it's not happening. I do, but there, but but the woman behind me does not. So she she feels very engrossed in it. <laughs> so this one, uh, sister attempts to sell her half sister on the black market. That was that's it. That's daytime. That was it. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's 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 hope this one is a hard one. I'm sweating bullets now. All of a sudden, I I feel, I feel like I have to. It's it's like you have to be on your best behavior. Okay. Uh, e cig blows up hospital. Grandmother accused of negligence. What is e cig? It's one of those uh, electronic cigarettes that the kids are using these days. Say it again. E cig blows up hospital. Grandmother blamed. Uh, Grandmother accused of negligence. No. No. Yep, it's a headline. So, yep, from News of the World, News of the World newspaper. Where did it happen? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you just look at them and go, okay, and you just write it down and you keep it moving. All right, one more. Woman acts on revenge by burying her nemesis alive with a two-way radio and just enough water to survive for a few days. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, what's her name? The, the, she comes and goes on the show. Vivian. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Can I just say, speaking of Vivian, uh, my all-time favorite scene is with you, Lauren Coslow, and, um, Sorrell. yes, Louise Sorrell, and kind of how she, in the, in the, in the, in, yes, yeah. and and she kind of mentioned how like you were possessed and and just just that that girl group right there was just such an amazing scene. What was it like for for you all to sit there and and film that scene and kind of get digged at the history that the characters have? Well, listen, this is all Ron Carlovati. Yeah, this is this is his genius of bringing back old storylines, mm-hmm. keeping them fresh, reminding the audience of oh that these three have a real history here. Um, uh, so it makes everything that we do a little more impactful. Yeah. Um, uh, bring up the history. I don't know. Well, I think what people tend to forget is that Lauren Coslow and I uh, play characters who are very old friends. Mm-hmm. You know that. Yeah. yeah, they go way, way, way back, mm-hmm. and and we are often in the habit of reminding the producers or the director, no, these two are friends. Mm-hmm. If it got to be bad, they'd have each other's backs, mm-hmm. and um, you know, the, it's the white knight and the black knight. I mean, she's just as sophisticated and smart and 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 
compromised as she can be. And Marlena is as, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't have the words for her. She is as, as well-intended and um, has bone-deep integrity and can't imagine anything um, n not being done with honor and discipline. Mm -hmm. and, and yet she loves Kate. Yeah. So yeah. there it is. She does. Oh my God. Thank you so much for Thank sitting so and much. chatting with me. I appreciate it. And for those of you who are watching, I know you're probably eyeing this free Hattie uh, oh. batch, but that, that was made by a fan. But keep on the lookout. You never know when it might be on sale somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in and thank you so much. My